Master bless. Glory to the Holy Apostles, and the Lord, and the Lord, Yeah. 
happiness in Christ and for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Service with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his country, his president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful <coughs> dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, do not lose by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. From all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord,
his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Come, come, and with divine songs, let us also go to meet Christ, and let us receive him whose salvation Simeon saw. This is he who David announced, this is he whose words the prophets uttered, who for our sakes has taken flesh and speaks to us in the law. Let us worship him. Glory now and ever in the sixth tone. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Exodus. Let us attend. The Lord spoke to Moses on that day that he brought out the children of Israel of the land of Egypt, saying, Sanctify to me every firstborn, first fruits, opening every womb among the children of Israel. And Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which he came forth out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for with a strong hand the Lord brought you forth thence. Preserve ye this law according to the times and the seasons from year to year, and it shall come to pass when the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he sware to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart every offspring opening the womb, the males to the Lord, every one that opens the womb out of the herds or among thy cattle, as many as thou shalt have, thou shalt sanctify the males to the Lord. And if thy son should ask thee hereafter, saying, What is this? Then thou shalt say to him, With a strong hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And when Pharaoh hardened his heart so as not to send us away, he slew every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore do I sacrifice every offspring that opens the womb, the males to the Lord, and every firstborn of my sons I will redeem. And it shall be for a sign upon thy hand, and immovable before thine eyes. For with a strong hand the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. For thus saith the Lord, the firstborn of thy sons thou shalt give to me. Whatsoever woman shall have conceived and born a male child shall be unclean seven days. She shall be unclean according to the days of separation for her monthly courses. And on the eighth day she shall circumcise the flesh of his foreskin. And for thirty-three days she shall continue in her unclean blood. She shall touch nothing holy, and shall not enter the sanctuary until the days of her purification be fulfilled. And when the days of her purification shall have been fulfilled for a son or a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of a year old without blemish for a whole burnt offering, and a young pigeon or turtle dove for a sin offering to the door of the tabernacle of witness to the priest. And he shall present it before the Lord, and the priest shall make atonement for her, and shall purge her from the fountain of her blood. This is the law of her who bears a male or a female. And if she cannot afford a lamb, then shall she take two turtle doves or two young pigeons, one for a whole burnt offering, and one for a sin offering. And the priest shall make atonement for her, and she shall be purified. For these are given to me for a present out of the midst of the children of Israel. I have taken them to myself instead of all the firstborn of the sons of Israel that open the womb. For every firstborn among the children of Israel is mine, whether of man or beast. In the day in which I smote every firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified them to myself, said God Most High, the Holy One of Israel. The reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. It came to pass in the year in which King Isaiah died that I saw the Lord sitting on a high and exalted throne, and the house was full of his glory. And seraphim stood round about him. Each one had six wings, and with two they covered their face, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one cried to the other, and they said, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the lintel shook at the voice they uttered, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am pricked to the heart, for being a man and having unclean lips. And I have seen with mine eyes the King, the Lord of Sabaoth. And there was sent to me one of the seraphim, and he had in his hand a coal, which he had taken off the altar with the tongs. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this hath touched thy lips, and taketh away thine iniquities, and purgeth away thy sins. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, 
whom shall I send, and who will go to this people? And I said, Behold, here I am, send me. And he said, Go and say this, go and say to this people, Ye shall hear indeed, but ye shall not understand, and ye shall see indeed, but ye shall not perceive. For the heart of this people has become gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. And I said, How long, O Lord? And he said, Until cities be deserted by reason of their not being inhabited, and the houses by reason of their being no men, and the land shall be left desolate. And after this, God shall remove the men far off, and they that are left upon the land shall be multiplied. The reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Behold, the Lord sits on a swift cloud and shall come to Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved in his presence, and their heart shall faint within them. And the Egyptians shall be stirred up against the Egyptians, and a man shall fight against his brother, and a man against his neighbor, city against city, and law against law. And the spirit of the Egyptians shall be troubled within them, and I will frustrate their counsel, and they shall inquire of their gods and images, and then that speak out of the earth, and then that have in them a divining spirit. And I will deliver Egypt into the hands of men of cruel lords, and cruel kings shall rule over them. Thus saith the Lord of Sabaoth, And the Egyptians shall drink the water that is by the sea, but the river shall fail and be dried up. Thus saith the Lord, Where are now thy wise men? And let them declare to thee and say, What has the Lord of Sabaoth purposed upon Egypt? In that day the Egyptians shall be as women in fear and in trembling because of the hand of the Lord of Sabaoth, which he shall bring upon them. And in that day there shall be an altar to the Lord of Sabaoth in the land of the Egyptians, and a pillar to the Lord by its border. And it shall be a sign to the Lord forever in the land of Egypt, for they shall presently cry to the Lord by reason of them that afflicted them, and he shall send them a man who shall save them. He shall judge and save them. And the Lord shall be known to the Egyptians. And the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. And they shall offer sacrifices and shall vow vows to the Lord. Let us Lord of mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken in their mercy. Lord of mercy. O Lord, so God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken in their mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Then we pray for his spirit to our metropolitan Tikka and for all our Brethren in Christ. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for the right Reverend Abra de Solomon Ashi Archimedes Sergius with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for this country's president for all civil authorities for the armed forces. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable holy <coughs> founders of this holy habitation, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox depart this life before us who here in all the world lie sleeping the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for your mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for the seminary and faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation, 
the family sent for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind unto thee, do we send our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the second tone today, Simeon the elder enters the temple. Today, Simeon the elder enters the temple. Rejoicing in spirit to receive in his arms him who gave the law to Moses and who himself fulfills the law. For Moses was counted worthy to see God through darkness and 
that sounds not clear. And with his face covered, he rebuked the unbelieving hearts of the Hebrews. The Simeon carried the pre-eternal word of the Father in bodily form, and he revealed the light of the Gentiles, the cross and the resurrection. And Anna was proved to be a prophetess, preaching the Savior and Deliverer of Israel. Unto him let us cry aloud, O Christ our God, through the Theos, hope us have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, in the fifth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Search the scriptures, as Christ our God said in the Gospels, for in them we find him born as a child and bound in swaddling clothes, laid in a manger and fed upon milk, receiving circumcision and carried by Simeon, not in fancy nor in imagination. But in very truth, as he appeared unto the world, to him let us cry aloud, Glory to the O Eternal God. through the intercessions of all your maiden, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. By the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable body of his powers of heaven, by the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, for our Baptist John, of the holy and glorious and all honorable apostles, and our fathers among the saints, great hierarchy and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril of Alexandria, Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarpus, Smyrna, and Arias, and Leonis of Carthage, of our father, and the Saints Nicholas of Myra, and Lycia, the mother of Edgar Leo, and Gregory of Rome, Ambrose of Milan, the Holy Confessor Patrick of Ireland, the Holy Nina, and Lecture of Georgia, the Holy Methodius and Cyril, teachers of the Slavs, the Holy Gertrude, Vladimir, the Blessed Princess Olga, and Nicholas, equal to the Apostles, and Enlightenment of Japan, of our fathers among the Saints, hierarchs of Elmers, Peter, Alexis, Cyprian, Joan, Macarius, Philip, Job, and Hermogenes, our fathers among the Saints, Clement of Ogre, Salva of Serbia, Aeneas of Turnbo, Innocent of Metropolitan, Moscow, and Lecture of the Aleuts, the Holy Confessor Teapot, Patriarch of Moscow, and Lecture of North America, and founder of the School of Meditation, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, and Nikolai Zicha, who labored in America, and John the Waterburger, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco, of the Holy Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, the Holy Proto Martyr, Archie Stephen, the Great Martyr, Hugh of Matalay, the Great Martyrs Demetrius, the Murray Gusher, and George the Trophy Bear, the Holy Proto Martyr of Women, Thecla, the Holy Great Martyrs, Catherine, Barbara, and Marskep, of all the Proto Martyr of Britain, Cosmos of Itolia, Juvenali, the Proto Martyr of America, and his companion, through the Alleyage, Martyr of California, the Higher Martyr John, Alexander, and Sarah, and the Sealy, who labored in America, and of all the Holy New Martyrs and Confessors of Russia, of our Venerable and God bearing fathers and mothers, and the of Egypt, Salvas the Sanctified, Mary of Egypt, Pelagia the Penitent, Anthony and Theodosius, and the other wonder worker of the caves in Kiev, Serves of Rada and Strobe of Krishaya, Sarah from Sarah, Isis Village, Kosky, Nicodemus, and Silwan of the Holy Mountain, and Herman the Wonder Worker of Alaska and all of America, the Holy and Righteous Priest of Lexus of Wilkesbeard, Jacob of Alaska and John of Kronstadt, the Wonder of the Worker, and the Holy and Righteous Juliana of the Merciful, Supplaza Rebel, the Holy Blessed Sandy of St. Petersburg, the Matron of Moscow, St. Tikhon, St. Nostradamus, and Patron, the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints, who beseech thee, O most merciful Lord. Hearken to us sinners who make our supplications unto thee and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Those who dwell therein, for the peace of 
peace and stability of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, the salvation and the help of our fathers and brethren who with diligence and fear of God labor and serve with those who are gone away and those who are abroad, for the healing and those who lie in infirmity, to impose refreshment and blessed memory and forgiveness of sins for our fathers and brethren. The earth has gone to their rest before us who lie here and everywhere, for the deliverance of the captives for our brethren who are serving and for all who serve and have served in this holy habitation. Let us say, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Pray that He would keep this holy habitation in every city and countryside from wrath, famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, and the sword, for the invasion, civil war, and sudden death. That our good God who loves me and will be gracious and conciliatory, and turn the wind, dispel all the wrath stirred up against us, all sickness, and may deliver us from his righteous chastisement, which impended against us, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 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 Father, and do in 
the latter times was born from a virgin womb, he who gave the law upon Mount Sinai, makes himself obedient to the ordinance of the law, and she has brought him to the priest and righteous elder, whose appointed lot it was to see me Christ the Lord, me and receiving him in his arms, greatly rejoiced, crying aloud, This is God, go eternal with the Father and the Redeemer of our souls. A light to enlighten the Gentiles. And the glory of thy people is The Theotokos, Mary carried in her arms, him who is born aloft upon the chariots of the cherubim, and praised in song by the seraphim, who was made flesh of her without her knowing wedlock, the giver of the law, who fulfills the commandment of the law, she gave him into the arms of the priest and elder, then holding the life, he asked to be released from life, saying, Now, O Master, let me depart, to declare to Adam that I have seen the pre-eternal God and the Savior of the world, made a babe without undergoing. ever in the eight tones, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the first tone, he who is born on high by the cherubim. He who is born on high by the cherubim, and praise in him by the According to the law, he is brought to the day according to the law into the holy temple. In the third tone, and rests in the arms of the elder. And rests in the arms of the elder. Oh, 
My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us sing songs and together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, and your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord who is saints. For those who fear him have no want. The rich shall suffer want and hunger. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Let's see the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me, many say of my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause were my enemies. Thou hast broken the teeth of sinners. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, and to chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are stuck fast in me, and thou hast pressed thy hand heavily upon me. For there is no health in my flesh in the face of thy wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities have gone over my head. They have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds stank and festered in the face of my foolishness. I was wretched and bowed down until the end. I went mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no health in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hidden from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and even the light of mine eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew near and stood before me, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spoke empty things and devised deceits all the day long. But I was like a deaf man and heard not, and as a speechless man, speechless man not opening his mouth. And I became as a man that hears not, and whose mouth has no words. For in me, O Lord, have I hoped, that will hear, O Lord my God. For I said that my enemies never rejoice over me. For my feet were shaken, they spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my grief is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. But my enemies live and are stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good have slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I keep watch for thee at dawn. My soul has thirsted for thee, how often has my flesh longed for thee in a barren and trackless and waterless land. So have I appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. If I remembered thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee. For thou hast been my helper in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. But they sought after my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be delivered up to the edge of the sword. There shall be portions for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by him shall be praised, for the mouth of them that speak unjust things is stopped. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear to my supplication. For my soul is filled with evils, and my life has drawn nigh unto hell. I have been counted with them that go down, down to the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cast off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thine anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy waves upon me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not gone forth. Mine eyes grew weak from poverty. I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou work wonders for the dead? Or shall physicians raise them up, that they shall praise thee? Shall anyone tell of thy mercy in the grave, and of thy truth and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in darkness, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why dost thou cast off my prayer, and turnest thy face away from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled and distressed. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water. All the day long they surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and climb thine ear to my supplications. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all them that are wrong. He made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord has strengthened his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows our fashion. He has remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field shall he flourish. For the wind passes over it, and it shall be no more, and no longer shall it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to them that keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that do his word, hearkening to the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to the supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the earth. He has set me in dark places like those long dead, and my spirit was despondent within me, my heart within me was troubled. I remembered days of old, I meditated on all thy deeds, on the works of thy hands did I meditate. I spread forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsts for thee like a waterless lamb. Hear me speak of thee, O Lord, my spirit has failed. Turn not thy face from me, lest I become like them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For I have lifted my soul up to thee. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled unto thee for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. In thy righteousness thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy thou wilt make ways to my enemies. And thou wilt destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Peace. 
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. The Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Which we have found out loud, but in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. I shall not die, but I will live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. The Lord is God. Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness, 
Rejoice and be glad, O righteous Elder. Thou hast accepted in thine arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, let the choir of angels be amazed at this wonder, and let us mortal men raise our voices in song, beholding the ineffable condescension of God. Aged arms now embrace him before whom the powers of heaven tremble, he who alone loves mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. He who is with the Father upon the holy throne, coming to earth, is born of a virgin, and he who is uncircumscribed by time becomes a babe. Simeon received him in his arms and said, rejoicing, Now, O merciful Lord, let me depart in peace, for thou hast made glad thy servant. Praise the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Give praise, O servants of the
to be with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. God, the most pure, receives purification that he may confirm the reality of the human flesh which he took from the virgin. Simeon, initiated into this mystery, acknowledged him as God made manifest in the flesh. He greeted him as life, and with rejoicing he cried in his old age, Let me depart, for I have seen thee the life of all. Mm -hmm.
just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. For Christ the Son, riding upon a swift cloud, is carried by pure hands as a babe into the temple. Therefore, let us the faithful cry aloud, let us sing to the Lord, for he has been greatly glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ye hands of Simeon, weakened by age, be strong, and ye the feeble legs of the elder, run straight to meet Christ. Forming a choir with the bodiless powers, let us sing to the Lord, for he has been greatly glorified. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Be joyful, O heavens, stretched out in wisdom, and be ye exceedingly glad, O earth. For Christ the artificer, who came forth from the bosom of the Godhead, and who was before all things, as a newborn child is offered to God his Father, in the temple by his mother the Virgin, for he has been greatly glorified. O Lord, the firm foundation of those that put their trust in Thou confirm the church which thou hast purchased with thy precious blood. Most holy Theot. 
Toku, save us. The firstborn of the Father before all ages has appeared from an undefiled maiden as a firstborn child, and he stretches out his hands to Adam. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, that he might restore the firstborn man who through beguilement had become childish in his mind. God the Word has appeared as a child. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. The Creator, having become a young child without undergoing change, has reshaped according to the form of his divinity our nature, taken from the earth and destined to return to earth once more. O Lord of my foundation, all those that put their trust in thee, do thou confirm the church which thou hast purchased with thy precious blood. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy on us, and keep us from up by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee be O Lord. Thou art our God, unto thee we send our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. saw on Mount Sinai in the back parts of God and was counted worthy in darkness and a storm of wind faintly to hear the divine voice. But now Simeon has taken in his arms God who for our sakes took flesh without changing and joyfully has he made haste to depart from hence to the life eternal. Therefore he cried, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. Thy virtue, O Christ, has covered the heavens. For proceeding forth from the ark of thy sanctification, from thine undefiled mother, thou hast appeared in the temple of thy glory as an infant in arms, and the whole world has been filled with thy praise. Theotokos, save us. The Theotokos cried, O Simeon, knower of mysteries past speech, with rejoicing take in thine arms, Christ the Word become a child, concerning whom thou wast told long since by the Holy Spirit, and shout aloud to him, the whole world has been filled with thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Simeon, receive with joy Christ in age a babe, the consolation of God's Israel for which thou hast hoped, the maker and master of the law, who fulfills the order of the law, and cry unto him, the whole world has been filled with thy praise. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Simeon was amazed when he beheld incarnate the word that is without beginning, carried by the virgin as on the throne of the cherubim, the cause of all being, himself become a babe. And he cried aloud to him, the whole world has been filled with thy praise. In a figure, Isaiah saw God upon the throne, lifted up on high and born in triumph by angels of glory, and he cried, Woe is me, for I have seen before and God made flesh, Lord of the light that knows no evil. Toko, save us, the aged servant of God, seeing before him the word held in the arms of his mother, understood that this was the glory made manifest of old to the prophet. And he cried, Rejoice, O holy lady, for as a throne dost thou carry God, Lord of the light that knows no evening, and King of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The elder bent down and reverently touched the footprints of the mother of God, who knew not wedlock. And he said, O pure lady, thou dost carry fire. I am afraid to take God as a babe in my arms, Lord of the light that knows no evening, and King of peace. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. 
Isaiah was cleansed by receiving the coal from the seraphim, cried the old man to the mother of God, Thou dost fill me with light as thou dost entrust to me with thy hands as with tongues, him who thou, whom thou holdest, Lord of the light that knows no evening and King of peace. The elder having seen with his eyes the salvation that was called unto the peoples, cried aloud to thee, O Christ that comest from God, thou art my God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou hast been set up in Zion as a stumbling stone and rock of offense for the disobedient but unto the faithful thou art salvation which cannot be broken. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, bearing faithfully the image of him who begot thee before all ages. Thou hast now from pity put on the weakness of mortal man. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Now lettest thou depart in peace. Him who worships thee is the Son of the Most High, and Son of the Virgin, God becomes a child. Having seen with his eyes the salvation that was called to the peoples, cried aloud to thee, O Christ that comest from God, thou art my God. God, by thy grace, Lord, have mercy. From the very most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. With thee, O Lord. Thou art the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and unto thee do we send our glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. By thy nativity, thou didst sanctify the virgin's womb, and is the Simeon sense of Christ God. Now thou hast come and saved us through love, Grant peace to all Orthodox Christians, O only lover of man. Let us run to the Theotokos, desiring to behold her son brought to Simeon. The vitalist powers looking at him from on high were filled with amazement, saying, Now we see wondrous and most marvelous things, past understanding and past telling. He who created Adam is carried as a babe. He who cannot be contained is contained in the arms of the elder. He who rests uncircumscribed in the bosom of his father is voluntarily circumscribed in flesh, but not in divinity. He who alone is the lover of man. O word of God, who in the midst of the fire has dropped you upon the children as they discourse the divine things, and who has taken up thy dwelling in the pure virgin. Thee do we praise as with piety we sing. Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. Holy Theotokos, save us. I depart, cried Simeon, to declare the good tidings to Adam abiding in hell and to Eve. And with the prophets he sang, rejoicing, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to deliver our kind formed from dust. God will go down even unto hell. He will give freedom to all the captives and sight to the blind. It will grant the dumb to cry aloud, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. And a sword shall pierce thy heart, O all pure virgin, Simeon foretold to the Theotokos, when thou shalt see thy son upon the cross, to whom we cry aloud, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Standing together in the unbearable fire, yet not harmed by the flame, the children champions of godliness sang a divine of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, and exalt him above all forever. 
Most Holy Theotokos, save us. O people of Israel, beholding thy glory, Emmanuel, the child of the Virgin, offered before the ark of God, dance now and sing together, O all ye works of the Lord. Bless ye the Lord and exalt him above all forever. We bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. Lo, cried Simeon, this is he who is at once God and a child, who shall become a sign that is spoken against. Unto him in faith let us sing, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, and exalt him above all forever. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. He that is life, God the Word, has here become a little child, and he shall be the fall of the disobedient, and the rising again of all those who sing with faith. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, and exalt him above all forever. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting him throughout all ages. Standing together in the unbearable fire, yet not harmed by the flame, the children, champions of godliness, sing a divine hymn. O oh, ye works of the Lord, and two young pigeons. In their stead, the godly elder and Anna the prophetess, sober in spirit, ministered and gave glory to the child of the virgin, the only begotten son of the father, as he was brought into the temple. It is not the old man who holds me, but I People offered a pair of doves and two young pigeons. In their stead, the godly elder and Anna the prophetess, sober in spirit, ministered and gave glory to the child of the virgin, the only begotten son of the father, as he was brought into the temple. Lord, daughter of committed to me the exceeding joy of thy salvation, O Christ, cried Simeon. Take thy servant who is weary of the shadow and make him a new preacher of the mystery of grace as he magnifies thee in praise. And sober in spirit makes terrible things known as she confesses Christ creator of heaven. 
exceeding joy of thy salvation, O Christ, cried Simeon. Take thy servant who is weary of the shadow, and make him a new preacher of the mystery of grace, as he magnifies thee in praise. The pure doctor, you with a blemish, brings a lamb and shepherd into the temple. Holy Anna, sober in spirit and venerable in years, with reverence confessed the Master freely and openly in the temple, and proclaiming the Theotoko, she magnified her before all who were present. Let us praise in piety the threefold light of the garden in three persons. Holy Anna, sober in spirit and venerable in years, with reverence confessed the Master freely and openly in the temple, and proclaiming the Theotoko, she magnified her before all who were present. In the shadow and the letter of the law, let us the faithful discern a figure. Every male child that opens the book shall be sanctified to God. Therefore do we magnify the firstborn word and son of the Father without beginning. The firstborn child of a mother who had not known man. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Mary, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To the Send out glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Oh, 
and praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with psaltery and harp.
Save us, O our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of nature. worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord. I will sing and have understanding in a blameless way. O when wilt thou come unto me in the midst of my house? I have walked in the innocence of my heart. I have set no lawless thing before mine eyes. I have hated the workers of transgression. A perverse heart has not cleaved unto me. The wicked man who turned from me I did not know. Him who speaks secretly against his neighbor have I driven away from me. He who has a proud eye and an insatiable heart with him I have not eaten. Mine eyes are upon the faithful of the land that they might dwell with me. He that walketh in a blameless way, he serve me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land that I might utterly destroy all the workers of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, virgin Theotokos, full of grace from thee, shown the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, thou hast accepted in thine arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou didst shine forth the sun of righteousness. Paradise, for thou didst blossom forth the fruit of flower of incorruption. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure Mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace a Son who is God of all. Beseech him to save our souls. Order my steps according to thy word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from false accusation of men, and so I will keep my, thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, to teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to exaltation. Amen. By thy nativity thou didst sanctify the virgin's womb and didst bless Simeon's hands, O Christ God. Now thou hast come and saved us through love. Grant peace to all Orthodox Christians, only lover of man. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all evil, tribula tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by their hosts, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God, the word, true Theotokos. We magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Amen. Amen. The Christ, the true light, which illumines and sanctifies every man who comes to the world. Let the light of thy countenance be signed upon us, that in it we may behold the light of reproachable guide, our footsteps arrive to the keeping of thy commandments. To the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother of all thy saints. Amen. By thy nativity, thou didst sanctify the virgin's womb, and didst bless Simeon's hands, O Christ God. Now thou hast come and saved us through love. Grant peace to all Orthodox Christians, O only lover of man. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our whole glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, most blessed Master, righteous Simeon, Christ our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind.
Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us.